one of the greatest civilizations to ever have existed is that of the Maya. This ancient civilization is best known for their sophisticated writing, and in recent years researchers had been able to map out certain areas where this civilization lived. It turns out they were well distributed throughout northern Mexico and Central America. The Maya civilization was known for being one of the most sophisticated and highly developed cultures of pre-Columbian Americas. They were also known for their astronomical knowledge, art, agriculture and mathematics. The Maya Empire was a strong one and had a lasting foundation that would see them fit for many years. However, during the 16th century, researchers noticed that they seemingly vanished. This civilization is perhaps best known for its calendar, that allegedly predicted when the world would end. The 2012 event was believed by some to be humans last year on Earth. Allegedly, according to some, the calendar predicted that a massive event would happen during 2012. 2012 would mark the end of a 5,126 year long cycle in the Mesoamerican calendar, and various theories suggested that a cataclysmic event would unfold, ending all life on the planet as we know it. Many different ideas were sent around as to how the planet would end with one of the leading theories being that of a supermassive black hole that would devour our planet, or that several natural disasters would be set off all at once. According to various news outlets, scientist Paolo Tagrigan tweeted the following. Following the Julian calendar, we're technically in 2012. The number of days lost in a year due to this shift in the Gregorian calendar is 11 days. For 268 years using the Gregorian calendar, 1752 to 2020 times 11 days equals 2948 days 2948 days divided by 365 days per year equals 8 years End quote. Strangely the account that originally posted that statement has now been deleted which has caused some to question whether the person was just messing around or was actually telling the truth one person on Twitter said the following The whole argument makes zero sense. Why would we want to recalculate the Gregorian calendar to the Julian calendar? The mind apocalypse is all about the cycle of buttons. End quote. Another person went on to say the following I'm not even sure the tweets were serious. With everything that's happening right now, another disaster would make headlines. I'm sure that's why various news outlets posted the story in the first place. I don't believe that anything is going to happen, and I'm not sure why people are still getting hung up on this. End quote. Others believe the claims that are being made, with another individual saying the following. I think there could be some truth to this. Perhaps the original comments were deleted because scientists were speaking the truth and he was told to delete the comments in order not to cause mass panic. There's a lot happening right now in the world, and maybe these comments could have been a tipping point for some. I don't think we give our ancient ancestors enough credit, and I believe they knew more than what we do today. End quote. The most recent theory going around is that we read this ancient calendar wrong, and that the date the world is going to end wasn't actually 2012 but rather 2021, with one online user saying the following, The calendar has always been read wrong. People don't understand that the true date is that of 2021, and not 2012. The numbers were the wrong way around. This can be backed up by seeing how this year is played out, and if you think this is bad then get ready for 2021, because it's going to get a lot worse. We are just gearing up for something massive to happen. All the signs point to something huge playing out in 2021. This whole time we were reading the dates wrong. End quote. Other people have also said the following about this idea. It seems weird how this theory was put forward during a time when bad things are happening. Perhaps there's some truth to it and we've been reading it wrong this whole time. I'm worried for 2021 now. Maybe the prediction will come true next year. End quote. As of right now, researchers have said this isn't the case, 
and that every few years new ideas are put forward to say when the world will end, but that none of them are true. Again though, this hasn't stopped amateur researchers from suggesting that something big is going to happen soon, and that 2020 is leading up to something much bigger. There's also been many interesting discoveries made around the Mayan civilization. Discovering the ruins of an ancient city surrounded by the sprawling plant life of a jungle is a fantasy that many of us had during our years. There's something about uncovering the remnants of an ancient civilization that interests many of us. Many ancient ruins may still be out there waiting to be discovered, and since new technologies are allowing scientists more and more ways to find what was previously invisible, the possible outcome for future ruins discovered are looking more and more positive. One amazing example is the network of Mayan ruins discovered in 2018. The Maya people have been seen as a cornerstone of human civilization, with a deep and complex understanding of architecture, culture and religious practices that still amaze historians in the modern day. Yet nobody was expecting the extent of the discovery made in 2018, when over 60,000 Mayan ruins were uncovered in Guatemala. While archaeologists had already spent years mapping out the region known as El Zoz, the development of LADA technology allowed researchers to create a detailed map of the area's surface, and they did this from above much faster than before. To give an idea of how dense the jungle is in this area, one archaeologist stated that one find was made within 150 feet, but due to the thick vegetation they'd never spotted it. The LiDAR technology shaved off years of the team's overall work, and it has uncovered an unbelievable amount of previously unknown Mayan ruins, including wars, moats, roadways and fortresses. Some of the most interesting finds from the discovery include a seven-story pyramid, and this was completely hidden by foliage, as well as an intricate network of raised highways that connected all the Mayan cities in the local area. These networks are particularly fascinating as they show signs of heavy use, indicating that trade between cities was frequent. Stephen Houston, a professor of archaeology and anthropology at Brown University, stated the following. It's one of the greatest advances in over 150 years of Mayan archaeology. LiDAR imagery is a new tool that spots archaeological points of interest that would otherwise be invisible to humans. Using remote sensing technology, LiDAR uses beams of lasers pointed at the ground to create an image of the area's surface. The beams then bounce back and the wavelengths are measured, giving an accurate picture of what lies below. The find in Guatemala has made historians completely rethink what they thought of the Mayan people. Observing the thousands upon thousands of ruins, it could be possible that the civilization population was three to four times bigger than we once believed. Mr. Estrada Belli said the following, With this new data, it's no longer unreasonable to think there were 10 to 15 million people there, including many living in low-lying swampy areas that many of us had thought uninhabitable. End quote. Although this discovery is incredible, researchers have their work cut out for them, as the El Zot site is likely to house more than 3,000 years of Mayan civilization. This means that many of the finds may be from completely different periods in Mayan history, and it will take a long time to accurately study and catalogue each and every one of them. Still, it just goes to show that there could be an untold number of things waiting to be discovered in our planet's jungles. So what do you make of the idea that we've read the Mayan calendar wrong? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.